the secret history of Nintendo. So way back in the late 70s, Miyamoto, a young designer who worked for Nintendo at the time, was tasked with designing a new arcade cabinet, Popeye. So he set out to design a game based on those three characters, Popeye, Brutus, Olive Oil. He realized two things. One, graphics weren't good enough for him to stylize the character well enough to be noticeable as Popeye. And the second, more important thing, Nintendo couldn't get the license for Popeye. Instead of Brutus, he used a character that he designed after King Kong. And that's when Donkey Kong was born. In the game Donkey Kong, he introduces a plumber by the name of Jumpman. Jumpman then turns into the plumber named Mario. That spins into its own game called Mario Brothers. Nintendo starts to develop their own home console, the NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. Miyamoto decides to take these characters, soup up the game, and call it Super Mario Brothers, which came as a pack-in to the console, became one of the world's best-selling games, and made Nintendo what they are today. And that, my friends, is how Nintendo became Nintendo from Popeye to Super Mario Brothers. If you enjoy videos like this, follow along because I post them all the time.